Hello everyone, I am Kelly of Gaming and welcome back to another video, another week of iRacing Hull Up Guided series. Of course, th this series is to help um, you guys to get faster um, in uh, on the track using the setup um, I provide basically. Of course, you can like not use it, but yeah, I provide it. So this week it is, um, of course, Porsche 718 GT4. But this week is around mid Ohio sports car course, which is really difficult. This car just sucks here. Um, before the video begins, please smash the like button and, and don't forget to subscribe. Uh, the timestamps, uh, setup download, and the replay file will be all down in the description below. So go and check it out. And let's get started. Okay, so here we are. I'm going to bring you a lap of the GT4 around the mid-Ohio circuit. So first of all, turn one, braking marker is the 200 braking point on the right hand side. Um, where to turn in is that grass patch you just saw there, um, right, si right hand side of the track. So um, don't touch the yellow curb, but start accelerating uh, when you pass the yellow curb. On the exit, just don't go, oh, like, don't go uh, on the grass, of course very slippy just kill your momentum and the car so we're now gonna head to turn two which is called the keyhole don't ask me why but the braking marker is this 200 braking board i don't have a turn in point because i sh aim straight to like the first part of this curb because the technique of um turn two is a double apex so I aim for that first apex and then run wide a little bit and then hit the second apex and then after that slowly accelerate out of the corner. You can short shift for this one just to um, avoid uh, traction loss basically. As we now head down to uh, turn 4 actually, uh, it's not turn 3, I don't think so, it's a turn 4. Braking marker very early, it's 400 braking point there and then the turning point is 100 braking board there we have so this one there's not much technique or whatever but mid corner is just hitting the apex nicely and start accelerating and set up the next uh, turn which is turn 5 so there aren't braking markers for me but um, just break a little bit from third down to second and then going back up to third. Now turn six, braking marker is this new road patch, so brake before that, and then just follow the new road patch uh, for turn in. And then hitting after hitting the curbs, again, there's not much uh, techniques, and then start accelerating. As we go over the Honda Bridge, as we head to turn nine. So braking markers is actually this turn eight apex curb. So brake after uh, passing that, and then Mid corner is just hitting the apex and then start accelerating. But be careful of the car, the rear of the car, it will slide out because it's just a lot of elevation change kind of kills the aerodynamics of it. So now turn 11. So braking marker is this 200 braking board and then the turn in point is the grass patch right side of a track after the 200 braking marker board. Now this one, again, there's not much technique of it. But it's just hit the apex, hit the curbs, and then start accelerating after. You don't really want to go too wide because you want to set up for turn 12, which is called the carousel with only one L. Don't ask me why. But breaking mark is this grass patch um, right side of the track, as you can see. Um, so, again, this one, double apex. You want to run wide and then cut in for this uh, curb here, as you can see. So... You if you see this curb, you should start accelerating. Uh, just, just really s tiny bit of accelerating. So next up, we'll have the cockpit cam with telemetry. Hope you enjoy.
three, two, one. So that is it, guys. Hope you guys fully enjoyed today's episode um, using the Porsche 718 GT4 around Mid Ohio's sports car course. Yeah, it is a very difficult um, track using this car. It's really hard to learn. I basically used, I would say, an hour and a half to just get that lap time because it's just so really difficult. The elevation changes makes things really hard to drive. Um, I hope this set, I hope this uh, video can help you. This track guide can help you in your sim racing journey. But before I go, please again smash the like button and don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.